the relation between electric field intensity and electric potential we know electric field intensity is represented by e and potential is represented by v the force acting on a unit of positive charge is called electric field intensity electric field intensity formula e is equals to f by q the units of electric field intensity newtons per coulomb what is the electric potential the work done by the unit positive charge in moving from infinity to a point in the electric field is called potential the potential v is equals to w by q the unit of electric potential is volt the difference is electric field intensity is a vector quantity and electric potential is a scalar quantity now what is the relation between electric field intensity and electric potential now the relation can be discussed in three ways there is a integral relation integral relation there is a differential relation differential relation third one there is a scalar relation integral relation differential relation right scalar relation right now what is the integral relation the integral relation can be expressed in the terms of line integral of electric field intensity line integral of electric field intensity line integral of electric field intensity now electric field intensity calculate its line integral electric field intensity let us consider an non uniform electric field this is the non uniform electric field this is the non uniform electric field right non uniform electric field this is non uniform electric field now now there is a point this is initial point now there is a point that is final point at the initial point the potential is represented by vi at final point the potential is represented by that is vf now take a test charge now the test charge is moving now the test charge is moving like this the test charge is moving like this this is the test charge what is the representation of the test charge that is q not is the test charge now in the non uniform electric field let us consider a test charge which is moving from initial point i to the final point f along the path as shown in the diagram now according to the definition of the potential from the definition of the potential from the definition of potential right the final potential minus initial potential is equals to w by what to say q not therefore there is a minus here 
the work done by the unit positive charge in moving infinity to a point in the electric field is called potential but i am taking the potential difference right the work done by the unit positive charge in moving from between any two points in the electric field is called potential difference now this is the field initial point i final point f the potential difference the potential difference final potential minus initial potential is equals to work done by the positive charge the work is done against to the field that's why i am taking minus therefore this is called what to say first equation now at this point let us consider at this point what is the electric field intensity direction the electric field intensity direction is e bar at a particular point where this path intersect electric lines of force this at this point electric field intensity is e bar now the total path this is the total path the total path is represented by l now the total path is divided into number of infinitesimal parts therefore now there is a small part this is the small part that is this is the small part the length of the small part is represented by dl now what is the angle between these two that is theta is the angle between these two now in this case in moving through a displacement dl what is the work done in order to calculate the work done you want to calculate the force therefore that is force acting on force acting on test charge q not is given by f is equals to right e electric field intensity and what is the test charge q not this is called second charge now whenever in the field there is a test charge q not it will experience a force e q not now i am moving this test charge to a small displacement dl there is a work done now the work done the work done by test charge in moving through a small displacement in moving through a small displacement right dl right what is the general formula the work done is equals to the dot product between force and the displacement vector work done by the force is defined as the dot product between force and the displacement now here in this case the force acting on the force acting on the test charge f bar there is a dot product there is a dot product now what is the displacement here the displacement is that is dl bar and for a small displacement work done is also small therefore dw is equals to f bar dot dl bar now in this case right dw is equals to dw is equals to here f bar now f bar that f bar is equals to e bar q that is e bar into q dot there dot into dl bar dl bar now for a small displacement dl bar for a small displacement dl bar the work done by the test charge dw is equals to e bar into q not dot dl bar in moving a small displacement dl bar this represents work done